Yo, what's up guys, and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you my personal solo base design that I've been using for about two weeks now, so let's hop straight into it. So here at the front door, we enter into a bedroom with two small boxes, and then when we come out here to the core, we'll be greeted with some petrical pigs right here, and a turret on top of the entrance, and also two large furnaces, and we have some chain link here, gate gating the other side of the compound but then you want to head inside you got front door right here and then you got two ways of entering okay then we want to come over here to the core here you will be greeted with two large boxes two small boxes a workbench a bag and a tc behind the furnace right there and then we have three furnaces used as a jump up right here all right but then you want to head over here to the our main open core here we have 16 boxes and all the turret on top of the garage door a couple of more furnaces you can choose to add whatever you want here maybe a repair bench we can go ahead and add a bed who knows uh, but yeah 16 boxes with uh honeycomb loot rooms right there so if they break through this wall right here they will have to go through this one right here as well but let's head up to the shooting floor this is the shooting floor right here. You can choose to add up to four turrets on this design. What I usually do is just two there, two right there. And then we have a couple of peaks right here. These peaks I really like. I've been using them for about almost my almost all my bases. And then we have some wide gaps right here. Covering all the sides right there. Alright, so let's hop straight into it. So uh, for the starter of this design. Uh, it's just a square and then four triangles just like that we'll go ahead and ball everything in except the one here you can choose to place wooden doorways or wall frames what i usually do is just go straight for the wall frames go ahead and seal in all the roofs except this one you want to make a temporary jump up right here and then go ahead and make a roof airlock right here or you can choose to add a wooden floor right there for now if you don't have the resources but go ahead and place your doors remove this temporary jump up right there and on this side right here what you want to do is you want to add a half wall and then a floor triangle frame remove the half wall and then place your tc inside of it you can go ahead and place a window on top of that as well and right here what you want to do is you want to place yourself a half wall and then a floor triangle right there remove the half wall and then you can proceed to place your uh two large boxes right here and then your two small boxes as well right here just like that and then right here you'll be able to fit a workbench and then another three furnaces right here and then a sleeping bag right here on the floor right there and then also a small box under the workbench now you want to come over to the outside what you want to do is just fill in uh, two squares just like that and then two triangles just like that do the same on the other side there you go when you're done with that you can go ahead and place yourself a, a wall frame right there with a ball do that on the other side as well and then you want to go ahead and fill in the roofs right here and then some walls all around like this do this on the other side as well make sure to wall in this one as well Go ahead and place yourself another three furnaces right there. And then wall in the roofs just like this. Make sure to leave this one open and make yourself a roof airlock right here. Now you want to come over here into the inside of the second floor. You want to go ahead and place half walls uh, in each square just like that. There you go, and then you want to go ahead and place ramps facing like this. And make sure to upgrade this roof to armored before you go upline. It's alright if you don't have any, but this will add a lot more red cost. And for now, for the box placement, some may think this is impossible to place. All you have to do is just place a triangle right here and then just go slowly back and forwards with the box until you get the placement just like this shouldn't be harder than this 
And then here in the bottom, they're very simple to place. Do that on the other side as well. There you go, when you're done with that, you can go ahead and add yourself some wall frames on all these sides right here. And also in the middle, just like this. And then go ahead and spam some garage doors. Also make sure to add one right here to add some extra cost. And then now you wanna head over to the outside. So right here, what you wanna do on these sides, or just go ahead and make a twig panel right there. And then you wanna build out seven twig uh, screws just like this. Place yourself a triangle on the end, remove the squares. Then you wanna build back with the half beams just like this. Place them like this. Then you can go ahead and remove the active swing. And then upgrade these foundations right here. Then you wanna head over to the other side and do the exact same thing. And there you go, when you are done with that, you can go ahead and add yourself a doorway and two windows on these sides right here. Do that on the other side as well. And then you want to go ahead and build out two squares like that. And then two triangles on each side, just like this. And then over here, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and go one half moon out, a square, and then three triangles just like this. Go ahead and remove the access twig that you placed. And then go ahead and upgrade these foundations right here. Place walls just like this. And then two doorways like that. And then two half walls on this side just like that. Go ahead and fill in the roofs. Go ahead and place a TC in this corner right here with a window. See it in with a uh, glass window. And then place yourself a garage door in here. And then a normal single door just like that. Go, go ahead and do that on the other side as well. And then now to connect these, all you have to do is just place yourself a wall frame right there. And then a square right there, the triangle going out. And then connect the triangles just like that, that will connect them for now. Do that on the other side as well. Then right here, you can go ahead and place yourself two more wall frames like this with a garage door or a single door. And then go ahead and place some roofs on top just like that. Do that on the other side as well. And then you want to come over here to these sides that are still open. You want to go ahead and place two off walls and then two windows just like that. And then place uh, roof triangles just like this. Go ahead and place the embrasure of your choice. I usually like to place the horizontal ones on these ones right here. Do the same on the other side. And then make sure to fill in the roofs right here as well. And then now you want to go ahead and place yourself some garage doors in all of these sides right here. Add a little bit more rate builds to the base. And now you can go ahead and seal this in right there. Place yourself two walls just like this. Connected to the outer TC. On each side just like that. And then some roofs right here as well. And there you go. Now you want to get started with the shooting floor. So what you want to do here is just go around and place uh, three uh, wall uh, frames just like that. And then you want to go ahead and place a square on the middle one, just like this. And then for these ones, you want to go ahead and place two windows and then two triangle frames, just like that. Then you want to go ahead and spam some windows all the way around, just like this. And then you can go ahead and fit the embrasure of your choice. 
I usually like these horizontal ones on these ones right there. Gives a massive pixel uh, pixel gap, and then just the vertical embrasures on all the other ones. You can go ahead and place yourself a ramp on each one of these. Uh, except this one, you're gonna wanna have to have it like this, sadly. Then go ahead and place half walls on these ones right here. Then you wanna surround everything with just triangle roofs, just like this. And there we go. And then you can go ahead and add your curve placements on these sides right here. And the turret placed as far as the front as you can, just like that. And there you go, your roof is done. So now you want to head down to the compound once again. What you want to do here for these gatehouses is place two windows just like that. A wall right here and then a wall frame here at the back as well. Go ahead and seal that in. Then you want to go ahead and place yourself uh, two uh, hor horizontal uh, embrasures uh, facing inwards. And then two small boxes just like this and then a bed right there. Well then make sure that the inner one is a garage door to add a little bit more cost then the outer one being a double door. Do that on the other side as well. And then when you're done with that you want to go ahead and place uh, two a triangle foundation so just like that and then two half poles and then two walls or uh, floors just like that do it on the other side as well and uh, there you go now you want to go ahead and add yourself three wall frames right here at the top of these and then three half poles just like that fill in roofs right here do it on the other side as well these are gonna be the turret pods for the compound. And then you wanna go ahead and place your turret right there with three chain link fences, just like that. Do it on the other side as well. And there you go. And all you have to do now is go ahead and place your metal barricades. So what I do is just place three uh, triangle trees just like this and then place it as far back as you can. Do it on the other side as well. Just like that. And then go ahead and remove the twig. Do it on the other side as well. And then for these sides, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and go two foundations out like this. A foundation and another triangle just like that. You wanna go ahead and remove these foundations right here. And then you wanna go out three more foundations just like this, upgrade these right here. Then you can wall them in just like this. And then add a wall frame right here, going with a double door right there. And then you wanna go ahead and place uh, three wall frames just like this. And then remove the temporary foundations for now. Do that on the other side as well. And then you want to go ahead and grab two chain link pencils, place them right there, and then another chain, uh, another chain link pencils right there. Do it on the other side as well, just like that. And for these ones, you can choose to do whatever you want with these ones. Doesn't matter. You can add another bay if you want a little kit, you know, going with it. It's up to you. And then make sure to place your two metal embrasures on these ones as well. And then you can go ahead and place your compound wall. So what you want to do here is, is for these ones, you want to place it a little bit outwards just like that. And then place this one just normally like you would usually do. And then just connect them just like that. Do it on all the four sides. And there you go, your compound is officially done. So now you can go ahead and add a couple of large furnaces here if you want. Just like uh, this. 
and then make sure to add a couple of shotgun traps here in the base as well uh, what i usually like to place them is just just like this on each one of these particular peaks then if they keep run and if they come running in here they get shot very nice and there you go guys that is it for the base side uh the uh, construction cost is on the screen right now but you've seen it in the start of the video anyways but if you guys have enjoyed make sure to like comment and subscribe and make sure to send it to a friend that might enjoy it but anyways boys see you guys in the next one peace out